Albert Bandura's Social Cognitive Theory Albert Bandura was one of the most influential psychologists of the 20th century, and his ideas completely reshaped the way we think about learning, behavior, and human development. Before his work, many psychologists believed that learning was mainly about direct experience and reinforcement, meaning that people only learned when they were rewarded or punished for their actions. Bandura challenged this idea by showing that people can also learn by simply observing others. His social cognitive theory explains how people's thoughts, behaviors, and environment interact with one another to shape who they are and how they act in the world. At the heart of social cognitive theory is the idea of observational learning. This means that individuals can pick up new behaviors just by watching others. For example, if a child watches their older sibling play a new game, the child might learn how to play it without ever being directly taught. Bandura showed that people do not need to personally experience every reward or punishment in order to learn, instead, they can observe what happens to others and use that information to guide their own behavior. This is why parents, teachers, and role models play such an important role in shaping children's behavior, since young people often imitate what they see. One of the most famous demonstrations of observational learning was Bandura's Bobo doll experiment. In this study, children watched adults interact with an inflatable toy called a Bobo doll. Some adults acted aggressively, hitting or shouting at the doll, while others played with it calmly. When the children were later given the doll, those who had observed aggressive behavior were much more likely to act aggressively themselves. This experiment clearly showed that behavior can be learned by imitation, even without direct reinforcement. It also showed the powerful role that media and environment can play in influencing actions. Bandura did not stop with observational learning. He also emphasized the concept of reciprocal determinism, which is the idea that behavior, personal factors, and the environment all influence each other. For instance, a person's confidence, a personal factor, might affect how they behave in social situations, which in turn might change how others react to them, creating a cycle that shapes future behavior. This means that people are not just passive products of their environment, but also active contributors who influence the world around them. A key element of social cognitive theory is self-efficacy. Self-efficacy refers to a person's belief in their own ability to succeed at a task or achieve a goal. Bandura explained that people with high self-efficacy are more likely to take on challenges, persist when difficulties arise, and recover from setbacks. For example, a student who believes in their ability to learn math will keep trying even when the problems are tough, while a student who doubts themselves might give up quickly. Self-efficacy is not the same as self-esteem, which is more about how much a person values themselves overall. Instead, self-efficacy is task-specific and directly affects motivation and performance. Bandura also explained that learning is not purely behavioral but also cognitive, meaning it involves mental processes like attention, memory, and motivation. For someone to learn by observing, they need to pay attention to the model, remember what they saw, be able to reproduce the behavior, and have a reason to do it. For example, if a teenager watches a professional athlete perform a move, they must first pay close attention, then mentally rehearse it, then physically practice it, and finally feel motivated enough to keep trying, perhaps because they admire the athlete or want the approval of friends. Another important idea from Bandura is that people learn by observing the consequences of others' actions which he called vicarious reinforcement or vicarious punishment. 
If someone sees another person being rewarded for a certain behavior, they are more likely to imitate that behavior. On the other hand, if they see someone being punished, they are less likely to copy it. For example, if a worker notices a colleague receiving praise for speaking up in meetings, they might feel encouraged to do the same. If they see another colleague being criticized for speaking out of turn, they may choose to stay quiet. This type of learning happens constantly in schools, workplaces, and social settings. Bandura's social cognitive theory also sheds light on the role of media in shaping human behavior. Television, movies, and now social media expose people to countless models of behavior every day. These models can inspire positive actions, such as kindness, cooperation, or creativity, but they can also encourage harmful behaviors like aggression, unhealthy habits, or unrealistic expectations. This is why media literacy and critical thinking are so important in today's world, because people need to understand how these influences shape their choices. Unlike earlier theories that treated people as passive learners, Bandura's theory gives humans a more active role. People observe, think, interpret, and make choices. They are shaped by their environment, but they also have the power to shape their environment in return. For example, a teacher influences students, but students also influence how a teacher behaves in the classroom. This back-and-forth dynamic shows the interactive nature of human learning and development. Bandura's ideas have had enormous influence in many fields. In education, teachers use his theory to create classroom environments that encourage positive role models and build student confidence. In psychology and therapy, Professionals help clients develop stronger self-efficacy to overcome challenges such as anxiety, addiction, or low motivation. In business, leaders apply these ideas to train employees through modeling and to build workplace cultures that reinforce desired behaviors. Even in public health, campaigns use role models to promote healthy lifestyles and discourage risky behaviors. In simple terms, Albert Bandura's social cognitive theory teaches us that people learn not just through direct experience, but also by observing others, thinking about what they see, and believing in their own abilities. It reminds us that role models matter, confidence matters, and the environment we live in matters, because all these forces interact to shape who we become. If you found this explanation of Albert Bandura's social cognitive theory helpful and interesting, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Your support helps us create more content on psychology, sociology, and philosophy explained in simple, easy-to-understand language.